Hello, hello. This is a dress I just got back from vacation. This is a dress I brought that I didn't get a chance to wear in Florida. Uh, yes, I went to Florida. Now what I decided to do for this story time is I wanted to make it fun, lighthearted, comedy style, and maybe this could be, maybe this is relatable to some of you that are going through, um, going on family vacations with adult children and their spouses. Um, whew, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so I scheduled a trip with my daughter and her husband and my son and his girlfriend to Florida, uh, Panama City, Florida, uh, for eight days. And let me give you a background of who we're dealing with and who I raised. I raised my daughter and my son to be strong, speak up for yourself, be yourself, love life, do whatever you want to do, follow your passion. And I'm thankful that I did that. Fly into this world and be the leader of your life and do what you want to do. So my son has chose to travel all over the world. He ended up in Florida, found his girlfriend in Florida and is loving it. And he loves the humidity loves it I don't know where he came from I don't know we went to Mexico he fell in love and he's been searching for that type of climate for years and found it I on the other hand grew up in four seasons dry heat and um, deserty feel and so I'm not used to that high humidity where you get ready and you stand outside and you feel like you're in a sauna and you have sweat pouring down you where you didn't even know you could sweat type of feel. So let's, that's the first part of it. So my daughter is a nurse, however, and she works 12 hour shifts and she's young. They're both young. My son's um, almost 30 and then my daughter's 26, 25, 26 and they're both young and they're both amazing and I love them so much. So. Um, let's start out with that. And they were raised by a mother, me, who was constantly a robot and she taught them to be that way, evidently. I cleaned and cooked and took care of them with no help, no daycare, no grandparents for the whole time and a husband that had to work full time and then sometimes a second job just so that we could survive to live. And I chose to stay at home because I couldn't afford daycare and I wanted to be a full-time mom, so I did it all. They watched me do the yard work. Um, that's why I run a house by myself. I know how to do it because I did it for all those years. That's why it wasn't scary for me to buy a house on my own because I've been doing it for so long. I've been running a house all by myself with three kids and dogs. And sometimes we bred chihuahuas. So I, and I was the one that put the parties and the pool parties and the cooking and all the activities at my house for all the teenagers and all the events. And by the time I did hit the bed, I was just dead. I was just so exhausted. That was me for years. Well, then I got on my own and I decided to do this self-love journey and find out who Ursula is and learn how to rest and learn how to heal and learn how to eat and learn how to work out and learn how to be a business owner and 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 learn how to take care of myself and 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 learn how to uh, you know read a whole book all the way through and and learn to like myself and learn to know it's okay to be by myself oh i just spilled my water i put orange slices in this water oh it's so good do it it's so good I learned it from the hotel. It tastes so good. You cut up orange, orange slices, put them in a pitcher, and then pour water and ice in there and keep it in your refrigerator. Oh my gosh. It's refreshing and delicious. So I brought that home with me. So that's the story. Of, that's how I created my children. And so when we go on a family trip, I know that it's, it's called, a, I thought it was called a vacation. What does vacation even mean? Because when I go on a vacation, when I go on a trip, it's like military camp. 
we know that from the time we wake up till the time we go to bed, there is something planned every second of every day, all day long, all trip long. And we are not, I am not allowed to get tired. And I'm not used to high humidity, so I'm told we're going to a beach town and we all, they only have bicycles. There's no cars, we have to ride bicycles everywhere. In 80% humidity, mind you, 80%. So I still knowing this book the trip because I want it because it's my birthday. They're gonna spend a birthday week with me. My birthday. They want to be. We all want to be together on my birthday. I was so excited. So you spend all the money. You get excited. You you get the nice Airbnb and you get everything all set. You get there 9 p.m. on a Tuesday night. Uh, you go to dinner because your flight had maintenance and then you couldn't get anything to eat except for snacks. So we go to the Waffle House and start our vacation and have our experience. And then they're like, okay, mom, to get you acclimated to the temperature, let's have a beach day the first day. All we have to do is just go sit on the beach. That'll be perfect. And then that'll be enough to get you acclimated for the bike riding and all the activities that we're going to do this whole trip. Eight days of fun, Mom. Aren't you excited? And I'm like, yes, that sounds perfect, kids. I'm so excited. I'm the mom that will go along with everything and practically die just to be with my kids. I will go to every activity. I won't say no to anything. I'll go with a smile, blisters on my feet, whatever it takes just so that we all have a good time and we're all together and we're all doing the activities. And you know that I was trained by that younger boyfriend that hiked me everywhere for four hours and here and there. And I was used to that, right? And then I, I work out now, I go to the gym. So they're like, oh mom, you train now? So you'll be fine, you'll be perfect. You got your e-bikes, you got your kayak, you go to the gym, you're used to this. It's a breeze, we're gonna have a great time, right? Keep smiling and just keep having fun. And don't complain, because we're all together and it's so much fun. And don't worry, Mom, you just kick back and we'll make all the decisions for you and you just go along with it. And you say yes, and you just go along with every activity that we plan with a smile and never say no, okay? Okay, so we get there and we do the Waffle House and then we go to bed, we go to sleep, and the next morning it's a beach day. Oh, it's a beach day. We bring all the stuff, carry all the stuff to the beach. You step outside, it feels like you're in a sauna, like I stepped into a sauna. It's June, it's 80% humidity, it's 90 degrees outside. We're in Panama City Beach. This is beautiful white sand, crystal clear ocean blue water. It's beautiful, it is beautiful. But you gotta carry all your stuff to the beach because we gotta have a cover for us. We've gotta have blankets. We've gotta have snacks. We gotta have a cooler. We gotta have, uh, you know, umbrellas in case the, the this one thing doesn't work. You know, this thing that you put the sand in and it holds, it goes above you. This canopy, and it was too windy that that day, so it didn't work. So then we used our umbrellas. So you gotta you gotta be prepared for everything. So we go down there and we sit at the beach and we just, I feel like there was an activity before that. I don't know. You know what? I started to lose track. There were so many activities. So what I decided to do is at the beginning of each event, that we, each thing that we would do, I would get the pictures. I would take the pictures before I got disgustingly sweaty and sweated where I didn't even know I could sweat so that it looks like it's glamorous and it's amazing and you look so beautiful there, Ursula. Yeah, that's everybody's trick. They get the pictures done first. Don't let anybody fool you. And then I would do the video footage for my new channel. If you have not subscribed, you better go subscribe. Ursie's Great Adventures here on YouTube. Go subscribe. That is my second channel and that's where I'm gonna be posting these beautiful, lovely experiences that I had with my adult children and their spouses. We went into caves, we went to springs, we went to the ocean several times, we went to beautiful places to eat, beautiful food. 
There was not one bad food experience anywhere. And <laughs> just we decided, oh, okay, so they, they have a van that they live in full time. They live in a van. And so my daughter's husband was gonna rent a car, but he was told, no, don't rent a car. This is a beach town. So we're gonna go get bicycles. And we're gonna ride bicycles all through the town and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so much fun. And sometimes we can just go off and and if you guys want couples and just go off with your couples, go for it. It's okay. It's gonna be so much fun. So much fun. So the next day we go and rent the bicycles at 11 in the afternoon. It's $150 a week for two people. So we rent the bikes. I'm like, okay, let's do this. And so I'm trying to be a big sport, not to say no to anything, because I'll try something once. I'll always try it once, but if it's too much, I'll say no after that. I'm learning to use my words, and I'm on a self-healing journey, so I don't do anything that I don't want to do anymore. I take care of myself and my energy, and I'm respectful to myself. And I expect people to be respectful to me. And I expect that I'm the adult and I'm the oldest one in the group. And I'm just turning 55 that if I get tired or don't want to do something, that that would be okay, right? Like if I want to just go back and be in the air conditioner, that would be okay. And recharge my battery and then move on to the next. But no, that's not okay. So I ride the bike for an hour or whatever. And it's so hot. I have these tights on that have pads in the inside so that, you know, my butt doesn't get too sore because I don't know how long we're going to ride. So they're long black tights. You guys have seen pictures of them, I'm sure. If not, I'll share. It's on Instagram, Fantasy Curvy Style. I'm sure I've got some on that. And on my new channel, Ursley's Great, Ursie's Great Adventures, it's my profile picture. So I've got that on and then I'm told... Oh, it's, it's, it's so hot here, you'll burn right away. So you've got to wear those long shirts that are UV, UV protection. Then you've got to wear your hair in a ponytail. You can't do anything with your hair because it's just wavy, wavy beach waves all the time because of the salt water and the humidity. So then you've got to put your hat on. Can't have braids because I had braids the first day. But if you have braids, you've got to spray your scalp because your scalp will burn. So, I mean, I'm learning all these things, right? I bring these hats, these visors, but it's not protecting the back of my head. So I've got to spray my head with sunscreen and braid my hair so it doesn't go in my face. And um, I just brought um, tinted sunscreen because you, you sweat off everything. It's waterproof tinted sunscreen so that I could have some protection on my face. And then I would put a visor. She, his, My son's girlfriend made me a hat, so I wore that on the ocean trip um, so I had protection over my head and then you always have to wear sunglasses because it's so bright so I got this whole gear on right I'm all covered my from my head to my knees and then I've got my sandals on and I've got sunscreen on everywhere so we ride all over and it's beautiful and it's wonderful and it's white buildings and beautiful uh, landscape and beautiful beautiful it's everything's beautiful but it's so hard to appreciate it and get excited about it after about an hour because you're sweating in places and I'm positive you guys know I'm positive but one can only be pushed so long until they are not and it, it's almost like being sat in a sauna and saying it's okay that it's hot this is healthy for you don't worry, if you sit here in, in an hour, for an hour, you'll get used to it. Just let the sweat drip out of your pores and let the sweat and toxins just flow from your body. And it doesn't matter that you have to put on deodorant three or four times a day so you don't stink, it's okay. Just enjoy it, embrace it, you'll get used to it, that type of feel. So finally, after an hour or so, we're just, somebody said, okay, we're done, let's go back. Probably it was me, I don't know. You lose track of things at a certain point because you're going so much. So then we take them back and we lock them up and we have them all week. 
Uh, we can do, and then I, I just simply said, nicely, okay, that was enough bike riding for me. I'm done. I don't want to do that again. And you would have think you would have thought I said something horrible when I said that because they all looked at me like, oh my God, what did you just say? Like, you can't ride bikes all week in a beach town at 80% humidity and 90 degrees? What's wrong with you? Like, I thought you were working out. Like, I'm really worried about your endurance. Like, oh my gosh, like, I'm worried about you. I think you need to stop the sugar and start eating healthier because you should be able to do this all week long. You should be able to do this. You should be able to. And then you just smile. <laughs> and you go on to the next day. And you do the next activity and the next activity and the next activity. And then the Ferris wheel. And then uh, there was a fishing trip that was booked. And we were supposed to get up at 4 a.m. With a smile and make the fishing trip fishing boat and dress appropriately and bring the waters and just go with your shirt, get fully covered because the UV rays and all that. So you really can't show skin unless you're in the ocean. You can do a bikini and the first day I was in the ocean, I'm out there in my bikini and the waves just take my top off. And then my son's girlfriend proceeds, wow, well, your mom, <laughs> she just lost her top, da 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 da. And then you and I and my son's like I turned away I turned away and it was just that kind of shit show you know what I, it's like I'm a very I am a very spontaneity person I like according to how I feel um, go with the flow you know see what I like I don't I'm not I'm not a set your alarm. Uh, I live a very free lifestyle. I, I live on vacation every day. I've created a lifestyle that I get to be on vacation every single day. It's not structured. I know what I need to do in my head, but I don't plan it out. I just do it when it needs to be done kind of thing. And I just am very free spirited. I am not type A, I'm not a drill sergeant. I've let all that go. You see, something happens when you're in your 50s and you just you just say, I'm done taking care of everybody and everything and doing what everybody wants me to do. It's almost like I said, 50s are you are, are your fuck you years. Fuck off. You know, you have to learn to say fuck off sometimes to take care of yourself. Because this generation doesn't realize that we get tired evidently. Like I'm the mom that never gets tired. I'm the mom that says yes to everything with a smile my whole life. And I'm the mom that's been bossed around her whole life by everybody around her. It has only been since I've been in my 50s that I got my voice back and that I now make decisions for myself and trust my intuition and know what I can do and what I can't do and say no when I mean no and yes when I mean yes. And now that I've lived away for five years and have had this lifestyle of being on my own and making my own decisions and going and coming as I please and working when I want and doing activities when I want and living this free lifestyle that I've created, this self-love journey. When you get back with your kids, adult kids, everybody lives such different lives and in order to make a living now everybody's having to hustle 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 the nurses work 12 hour shifts like five and eight days in a row they're dead they're collapsing on their first day off and then they got to play catch up and and then they go on vacation and then they want to fit in everything they can to have fun because when they get back home their lives are so body and structured and so write everything down and don't don't lose this and document everything and you know so they have to be so type a personality that on vacation it's supposed to be the opposite so they feel like they are being the opposite because we're having fun 
but it's still structured and organized and have to be here, have to be there. Uh, you, the guys, I found the guys just, when, you know how guys always just go on their phone and women get mad at them because they're just like scrolling on their phone? Scrolling on the phone? That's their only time to rest. Because the women are running the show in the program. And it's just kind of sad, you know? It's just kind of sad. So anyway, that was my story. And I just wanted to make it a comedy. And that's the way it went the whole time. But I have some great footage on Ursi's Great Adventure. So I want you to go check it out. And you know what? Make the best of your family that you have them. They are a blessing. But just know what you can do and know what you can't do. And say no when you mean no. And say yes when you mean yes. And hope for the best and pray for yourself and pray for them and just keep loving life. <laughs>